Hello students and welcome back to the course. I hope that you are enjoying the series and of course benefiting from it and finding it helpful for you. So after we have learned uh, how to create a new project, the most important three lists in the Visual Studio, what does IDE mean and what to do to the platform and so, uh, let's break down uh, a look, uh, the topic a bit and let us discover how we can add more formats or more screens for the project. So basically this is a project I have just created. It's an empty project. I left it with the default name, which is Windows Application 7, because it's the seventh application I create and leave it with its default name. So I, I am in need to another form, like another screen. So uh, in one of the videos we have learned the, the, uh, the most important three lists. So we will be using one of the lists to create the new form. And if you are new to the series, I will be attaching the links for the previous lessons in the description box. So make sure to check them out. So let's come to the Solution Explorer uh, menu. And from the Solution Explorer menu or the list, we will be coming to the Windows Application 7, which is the project name. So I will be coming to the project name, right click, then add, then Windows form. If I will be adding a Windows form, of course, but I can add different things like I can add a class, I can add a module, I can add a new item like anything I want like for example crystal report. I know maybe you are not familiar with this stuff but no worries we will be discovering them together through like along the course. So uh, for now uh, we are basically in need to add another windows like another form, another windows form. So basically click on that and make sure if to name it in a, with like a custom name if you wish if not just keep everything as default do not click anything and basically click or press on the add button okay that's it I mean when we come to the solution explorer menu now we can find that we have two forms form 1 and form 2 and we can switch between them resize them and so so that's it that's basically and that's very much it for this lesson <clears throat> i hope that you enjoyed the lesson and now you you know how to create and start more forms during the uh, i mean uh, at the same project i mean in one project we can have multiple screens and like more more than one form so in next in the next lessons we will be discovering more and more of adding uh, tools to the for to the to the forms and screens and we will be changing their properties and connecting them all together with the database, of course. So yes, but that's very much it for this lesson. So I hope that you will like it. Uh, share it with your friends uh, if you feel that they are in need for, for like such a series. So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next lecture.